Welcome everyone to the co-op walkthrough series episode 125, The Great Beast. Yeah, it is a great beast. It is. Smooth. I'm going we're, in. We're leveling even. as well. Dark more next step. That's hype. Even though the sigil's not lit up for me. Yeah, neither. What the heck? No. <laughs> Weird. Some yeah. deep bass going on in that ocean. About halfway to 100, so. Yeah, no, I mean, it's going to be really exciting. Oh, we're here. Ooh, 30 frames. All right, it's back. <laughs> yeah, what the? Not this so close. <laughs> Despite the great beast's strength, anything could go wrong. And leave us drowning at the bottom of the waves. Or swimming in the middle of the Starfall Sea, waiting for something to snap us up. Now, place the dying star stone on the pedestal to activate it. All right, well, here we go. No turning back. You place the dying star stone in its spot on the navigation pedestal. It sparkles with power. Oh. If we stay on the surface, not only will the Shadow Queen's forces be able to find us, but we'll be shredded by the maelstrom. Get ready to dive. Use the alto meter to signal the great beast. I mean, never look at this window. Absolutely. Whoa, low texture. <laughs> Attach the alto meter. And imagine yourself going down, down, down into the deep. Okay. Where's my XP? Quickly now, pay attention. I've placed the nautic stones to help us navigate. Go to the Mandana crystal and adjust it. Slightly. You adjust the Mandana crystal as best you can under the captain's rapid Orange. fire. Yes, good. I think that was just enough. Wait! The great beast groans and flinches. Something is distressing him. I wonder what it is. When harried or vexed, the great beast's desire is to dive deep. If we let him, our diving bell will be ripped apart by the ocean gyre. We cannot sit on the surface, nor swim too deep. For certain death lies on either end. We need a steady hand on the helm. When the great beast tries to plunge below, we must instead force him to rise and deal with whatever we find. Use the alto meter to cause the great beast to rise. Then venture out onto his back and deal with the disturbance. Thanks for the XP. Yeah, a decent you amount. You touch the alto meter and force the great beast to rise. You hear a thundering snarl of protest, but he obeys. Snarl of protest? Alright. Go into the light, Nate. Bzz, it's true! The spellbinder has harnessed a great beast of the Starfall Sea. White razors, attack! Uh, Why did a white razor fly out here? Yeah, I have no idea. They're dumb. Yeah, Dark War gear will allow us to be a little riskier with our moves with, like, the one blade, you know, kill right here. You know what I mean? So, it's exciting. Yeah. We'll get there. Oh, yeah! Plus, that will last us until... The end of the game. Right. And there's a chest as well, which is just amazing. Music is a little loud here. Let me check that. Got it. I have mine turned down, actually. It was kind of loud from the last step when we did the battle music. <sighs> it was still that loud. No, <laughs> it was reduced, but... <laughs> yeah, it's just been blasting the entire time. I'm gone. What do you mean? Mm. I'm JK. False alarm. Yeah, you reminded me though that the storm people that we have to fight on here are actually pretty decent. Yeah. I just can't wait until I get a deck that gives me an extra pip. That would oh, be nice. Wow. Yeah, it's alright, chill. Then I can use Dragon a turn earlier. Think about that. Well, I mean... The seven pips. I'm sure so. you, there's a, I think there's a 95 one that we can probably farm for. I hope I get his drop, otherwise... It's That'll definitely Morgan. become handy. RSV. Guess I won't get one until Morganth. Yeah. It's true. I mean, I feel like any kind of fire deck that I get in Chrysalis could be good, but I haven't got one yeah, yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you haven't got one. That's the problem. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll heal you just so you don't have to use a potion. 
Could he get use a potion down 500 health? Never know. Might get risky. Yeah, I forget how much health those storm beings have. But well, I'm going to sleep. double faint each one. So. Wait, is there four of them? I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be easy. I think there's. Yeah, need that health then. Yeah. White raises flee buzz. I think there's four. I don't know. Anyway, we'll fight that beast when we have to arrive. Two it. white raises. A lot. They must have followed us from Crescent Beach. We'll be well into the storm soon, and they won't be able to follow. Of course, we'll have bigger problems then. Use the alto meter to convince the great beast to submerge again. We don't want to batter the diving bell more than we have. You use the alto meter, guiding the great beast to swim below the surface again. Back in the depths. I need you to check the Oceana yeah. crystal. It keeps the diving bell safe, and also examine the Atala stone. It measures the great beast's fear and passions. You inspect the Oceana crystal and turn it just slightly to improve its resonance. The Atala stone purrs in time to the rumblings of the great beast, but then suddenly it flickers and sparks. Blast and tarnation! Something in the water is bothering the beast. Nip it at his fins. Rise up! Use the altometer and break the surface. Let's draw these bedeviling vermin up with us, where we can deal Look with them properly. Yeah, I mean, I don't you remember... Guide the great oh. beast into, once again, the path yeah, outside there it is, right. is open. Time to chase off the vermin. Don't remember being this fast pace, but it is. Oh, there's only two here, so hopefully there's just two storming them. We should be fine. Uh, oh, battle, please? Thank you. <laughs> I think there'll only be two. Sure hope so. They're dead like, next. Get a meteor, I'll draw it. Well, yeah, I'm fading. Use it. I'm not sure why I'm not getting them. I just admire that these are probably the most in-depth minions that they created for crystals. And you only see them once. I mean, yeah, they are pretty unique. Okay. They are. All right, please meet here. Please see me. Give it to me. Yes. Yeah, did it. No oh, yeah. Medus. <laughs> you thought he used Medus. <laughs> I was hoping for it, but we just get evil, which is fine, I guess. They're dead. They are. Act like we're good oh, need, and don't even say anything. I didn't even see that. See? Oh. Give you a wisp. Cole Red. Whirly kicks. Spike. Act like it doesn't matter. Right. They prey on smaller fish, but they'll try to take a nip out of anything that passes their way. Me guess is the Shadow Queen riled them up. Good work driving them off. That's the edge of the maelstrom we're entering. Time to send the great beast below again, so we don't get torn asunder. Through the altimeter, you can sense how violent the storm is getting. It takes much more effort to guide the great beast this time. Thanks, Grandmother Raven. Keep an eye on the Mandana and Oceana crystals, and keep them in harmony. And don't take your eyes off the Rasatala stone, nor the Mahatala stone, else the great beast may decide to devour us himself. <laughs> I 
I just touched it. I mean, you know. Oh wow. Touch that one too. There it is. All kinds of voodoo. Why are we touching all of these stones? You do your best to keep the crystals and stones in harmony. It takes a great deal. I mean, I understand all of a sudden, it, but... all of the crystals and stones start a cacophonous ring. Hey, gods, I was afraid of this. The deep spawn that dwell beneath the maelstrom are rising against us. <gasps> Can't talk to him. Deep spawn are vile terrors. Whether the Shadow Queen sent him, can I speak? Hungry, <laughs> are you talking to me? Yeah. There, I can't talk to him. Cruel and could tear chunks out of the great beast himself if you don't stop them. Oh, well, that. Raise us up and get ready I mean, to fight like, amongst the storm. There you go. Okay, I. Head out and drive I mean, yeah. the deep I mean, the dialogue spawn, was we'll basically. There's vile creatures. The meter shudders onto your and <laughs> and painfully. Trust me, there's a lot of dialogue. Opens. I mean, you can hear a skittering of claws. Some bad happening. Right. None of, it's, none of it's good. Oh my gosh, I hear them. These are the storm people. Three. What kind of ancient. I don't know what kind of recitals those are, but I'm not going to that. Uh, Alright, I have faints, I have blades. Let me put in a couple more heals. Three, rank 13, boss. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be easy, but it's I mean, doable. I can put in... Uh, I'm putting in a couple of shields as well. I'll put in a few, just, just in case I have nothing else to do. Okay. Well, uh, two bars away from 100. We're yeah, got crap, XP Nate. Base. You ready? Then we get more. Yeah. We're going in. The triple boss. Hmm. We got this. And we went first. Oh, thank God. 14,000 each. And look how many hips they start with. I'm about to put this on first. <laughs> not in the mood. I have 80 resist, so I'm not worried. I'm worried about you. This is a different shit. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. I'm protected for the first round. <laughs> good thing you didn't blade. Hey, hey. Good. Good job, mate. Hmm. Oh yeah, you got that storm resist. Oh yeah. Well, that's Mocha. So, yeah. She's gonna be with you us. You have more than me with a 70 shield. Yeah, well, you yeah. know. I don't know. That is funny. There it is! <laughs> this is on me! Alright, let's go before they have that wow, many hits again. Wow, no joke. Oh my. If I find another well, shield, I'm shielding you. I'm not in the mood. All right, I'm starting to get these feints, which is primo, but I, I need to see if I can shield you because... I'm going to start blading. So I, I can't so. afford another Storm Owl on you. I did 300 yep. for 70. Yep. And I fizzled, of course. All right, we're good. We're good. Well, if he sirens is again, then I'm lucky. It is unfortunate. What else they put? Negative 20%? I mean, 15. well, 20 is Mirage. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I do have a heal. <laughs> Come on. Dang. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Man, that would have done a ton. I'm sweating. Okay, well. Right. I got faints. I'm gonna start fainting. So, you're good on health. I mean, I think of all the spells we just got hit by there. And I still have this much health. That's good. Hey. Those shields were If good we call. didn't double shield, Nate, you would have been dead. <laughs> that storm outfit would have crit. Oh my gosh. Easy 2,000 at least. Okay, nothing else. Uh... I mean, that guy's good. He thinks he's good. First guy has some things, but I'm not going to desire Right. Yeah, I got heals at the ready, so. And I got double blade. Okay. How many blades do you think we need for? Uh, I would say you should That's probably have, yeah. They can enfeeble. 
Yeah, that's why I'm double fainting instead of blading you. Because... I'm gonna use my aura next. Yeah. Whoa! Got quick feet on him. Right, I'm keeping okay. these heals. You never know. This... Yeah, I might need it. Alright, All right, a little scared, but we'll see what he's got. Oh, yeah. The toes are dancing, Nate. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're dancing now. Yeah. Oh man, how does, it feel like, how does it feel that everything you did in those rounds made no difference? Well, one thing went through, that's it. Uh, so I basically put up an aura in three rounds. At least you blocked. Yeah. Alright. See ya. Yeah, there it is. Nah. Okay. Wish they all have no pips. Hmm. How much health do you have? 2,000. <laughs> Alright. What oh, I'm gonna do is I'm news. going to faint, and then we should be ready by then. Uh, of course. <laughs> should be. He will. Okay. I think these blades will. Probably stay. Yeah. Level blade. If we're not ready by then, I can shield or something. Mm. Oh, actually, I can triple blade now. Oh. We'll see how it goes. You're right. We will see how it goes, Nate. You already enfeebled me once. Mm -hmm. Double siren. Storm owl. Um, Look at that. It's just unfortunate that I fizzled. But those double faints are so important. I think I pierced that. I'm not sure why I pierced on this character, but... Hmm. Well. Hit next. <laughs> yep. Regard. Is my aura gonna run out of this turn? That'd be unfortunate. That'd be very sad. I'm not sure if it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, another round. Please. Uh, that's good. I think he. Well, he could. Okay. Oh. What's this? Uh, and. Last round of the aura. I mean, still, after all that, I have three blades for a double faint every single one. Right. I mean, good job, Blade. regardless. Yeah. Not bad. If you don't kill, I'll still heal. We'll hit again. It's fine. Over time, I got... I yeah, that's there. fine. We're good. How much do I appear something else? All of it. There's, yeah, but fair amount. Yeah, I can use the meteor or something. Mm. I have heals, even if you die. <laughs> I'd rather not die, but... Well... I've been blocking. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, you don't need to block me that much. Why? Well, I really don't. Look at how much that would have Okay, this is. Oh, thank cool. God. I think the MVP play is that we both shielded first round. That was the best. I think it's the best moves we used all series. Just pass. Good. Alright. Back again. Yeah. Peace. Dudes. Put 
of happiness to this sad ocean. Yeah, overall, after getting hit by like everything they've got, it good. It wasn't easy. I just can't believe how much pips they start with. Oh, it's ridiculous. Better than more damp. Just imagine this entire ocean being infested by these things. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> you did. They should accept the fact that they're dead. I think they use Fortify as well. That Fortify is saving them. Crits, the healing current. Yeah, we pass it. Just die. <laughs> That is not dead, which can eternal lie. Alright, I have to no deck. Idea. Life deck. They don't get pips yet, though. Oh, yeah, well. Life one doesn't, so, yes. Oh, bored. When the deep spawn oh, yeah. stirred, I thought for sure you were done for. I guess something is looking out for you, wizard. I, I hope the way is clear. We've seen near every kind of hateful thing that swims in the Starfall Sea. It was once a serene, becalmed ocean. Till the Shadow Queen stirred it up and set it to roiling. Now let's finish this journey. Dive us down! <clears throat> you ease the altimeter down again, and the great beast gracefully falls. Well, as gracefully as he can. It's time for you to use the dying star stone to guide us through the worst part of the maelstrom. We'll be fine if you don't mess it up. In which case we'll all be. You focus your will to a razor sharp point and use that to read the mystical aura of the dying star stone. It pulls and spins, threatening to drag you into the maelstrom. But you stay calm and soon find yourself where you need to be. All right, is it? Yeah, wow, grats. No idea how we did that. Hello. And now there came both mist and shade, and it grew wondrous cold, and shadows dark came floating by as black as charcoal. The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Welcome to this star-blasted and shadow-cursed isle. Wizard, we may be the only living things to step upon this rubble in ages. I'm sure there are plenty of ghosts nearby. You seem to have a way with their kind. Look for a friendly ship. <laughs> he knows our past experiences with ghosts in this mm. game. Who and what are you that comes here to this accursed place? There is nothing for you here, stranger. Your journey was for naught. Leave and never return. I cannot even tell you my name, broken being that I am. The maelstrom elementals that prowl this isle have taken it from me. You would restore my name? It cannot be done. The maelstrom elementals hoard the fulminating crystals I need to heal my mind. Uh, who are you that comes to this accursed place? There is nothing for you here. Your journey was for naught. Leave and hey, never thanks. return. Uh, so what is this quest? We gotta collect some crystals, huh? Collect three to restore his brain cells. Team, we'll see you after we get the neurons. And yeah, we got them all. Who and what are you that comes here to this accursed place? Wait, do I remember you? What is it that you hold in your hands? Fulminating crystals? With these fulminating crystals, fragments of my Good level. Return. Yep. I am Edric, Exalted Blade. This place was once the 
Alcazar of Radiant Judgment, a shrine to the astral studies of the stars. Her sister shrine blazed in the heavens above, until the stars fell out of the sky. My memory is but newborn. To know more, hear the tragedies of the phantoms in the ruined hall. But be warned, their anger... You actually have no cold. idea how I leveled, but there it is. I am a thousand yeah. into the next level, so there you go. That's a lot. I will get it... With this quest. Yeah. Fight on and fly on to the last drop of blood, to the last beat of the heart. Like when we walked inside the cave, then Dwarven popped up. Hello, Wither. Like... Yeah, you didn't even get the one like nice cue. <laughs> Alright, maybe not a lot of health. Double fainting, so. Double faint, GG. I haven't seen this spell. I mean, the Ruined Alcazar is a pretty quick area, though. The next long one is Sardonyx, and then the desert's a joke. And then the we hive to, is uh, and then we have to do the solar arc, which is like an app, and then the hive. Yeah, is, solar arc is actually. Not the fun. hive is actually pretty lengthy, kind of, because you know Cobb and all that. I would say it is. Yeah, it's a little shorter than the Sardonyx, or probably the equal length. And then we're done with Christmas. And then Polaris should probably be like six or seven episodes. Mars and then Mirage, obviously. Ooh, we're not even speaking about that. Yeah, yet. that. Well, I was theorizing. I mean, even on our life and death, even Fire Ice. I mean, it's gonna take probably about twenty oh, yeah, at minimum. No. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I could meteor, but it's not gonna kill. Yeah, it's not gonna kill. No. <laughs> but we'll be fine. I think. We'll live. I wonder how close that walkthrough is going to be to the Life and Death one. No idea. Because eh, it could be kind of close. We'll see. Why not? I'm going to do that for fun. I didn't see what pillar did we go into. I know there's four pillars that we have to do. This wasn't even one of them. Oh, really? Okay. This is just a side area. Awkward. Yeah. Right, she's already dead. She is. Our story, Sad. our tale is one of fire and doom. A delegation came from the far shores of Chrysalis, from the hive of the Arachna. We welcomed the spider magi kindly, for the Alcazar of Radiant Judgment was open to all, even to their strange young visitor. They said she was a spellbinder, a wizard from the spiral. She was powerful but graceless and could not handle the forces. She studied in the Star Alcazar, but it went poorly. She could not master the delicacies of star magic and quit in a fury. In her wrath, she blamed all but herself. She pulled the stars out of the sky, and we were consumed in a cataclysm of starfire. I'm just confused wow. as there's nobody else that could have stopped her, or... No. She couldn't learn star magic, which is honestly not that hard. Yeah, exactly. And she and she just pulled down stars. Kind of rude, really. They told you of the cataclysm. Yes, I remember now. The day the sky burned and everything was swallowed by shadow. The memories are flooding back. The, the, the shrine's guardian, Amelia Stardust, fell from the sky that day. I've oft heard her spirit's tragic cries. Spellbinder, search the ruined hall of the Zodiac for Amelia's spirit and free her. How am I so far behind you? I'm even level. I have no idea, Nate, honestly. <laughs> I didn't get it after that one. I said, I need this next quest. What did I do? Down. I don't know. Oh, because you're ahead by like 100k, I think. What did I do with this character? What did I do? 
The Shadow Queen ruled this place off limits to all beings over a hundred years ago. Hanzo. She sent us yeah. here to make sure that any who were lucky enough to survive the Maelstrom would die a painful death. We've been here a long while and have a lot of anger to work out. Get over here! Um. Yep, we're going in. Decent. Got the chat. D doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm actually really confused. I don't know. Ooh. That's ridiculous. I expect an aura and three blades by the time I come back out of this unconscious state. Out of your slumber. Yeah. This will stun you for two rounds, too. Yeah. Now, I'm out for four. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, who would? And then we got the Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Yeah. Oh, Dead next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. Let's get a crit in here, huh, Thalmia? We kind of need it. We really do. <laughs> oh my gosh. The <laughs> same blade? Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nate, I'm being 3,000. We almost got it. 3,000% 3, honest Fuck with you. <laughs> Went out with a bang in this set. Hey, you know what? It's got to be done because, regardless, we need to get a hundred so we can do dark more next time. Oh well, yeah, I need a hundred. Yeah. I definitely have not. And we're making a little more progress in this area though too, so that's good. Because I forgot Amelia existed, and Amelia is very important. Yeah, so they have three blades, right? No need. Yeah, I gotta start working on my official mod for my eyes. Yeah. Uh, look into that. Right. Yeah, kill next. I mean, just... yeah, well, and the dragon. Yeah, you know, like I don't remember this guy at all. Yeah, I don't really either. 
don't know where he came. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Did I miss something? Maybe this time. A little better. Hey. Yeah, I mean, we, we did it. As if that matters. <clears throat> Thank you, Spellbinder. I've been trapped in a nightmare for far too long. Come, let us look upon the sky. Yeah, let's. Give me the XP. So will this level you? Mm, no. No. Just randomly in the middle of the area. Oh, by the spiral, the sky is so, so empty. Yeah. My heart shatters like glass Good. to see the Alcazar of Radiant Judgment reduced to ruin. This was all the work of that wizard, Morgan? Is it true that she is the Shadow Queen that rules over Chrysalis? Wait, it was you that restored the Eclipse Tower and reclaimed it from the Umbra Legion. That gives me a twinkling of a plan. We must visit the Nova Tower <laughs> to see what remains. One plan. But to do that, we need some iron charges from the Maelstrom yeah. Elementals. Definitely we'll have those for next time, but also next step is Darkmoor, so I mean, you know. So, two apps will have that done. And then, uh, yeah, you guys can look forward to seeing Darkmoor in the next uh, walkthrough episode. So. I mean, the entire Darkmoor, by the way, team. like All of Darkmoor, like, all of it. <laughs> from the, the beginning doorway so, <laughs> to the great like, yard. Like, the first stone step to the last. That's why Darkmoor took us three hours the first time, because one, we had to do the entire thing, well, yeah. and two, we didn't know what we were doing. Oh well, yeah, we had no idea. <laughs> it was the first time we ever did it. So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but yeah, we'll have these four, Darkmoor next. Um, new gear as well, I mean, I'll be also, well, I'll be full Jade, Nate will go full attack, but that's exciting. Yeah, hopefully we get good drops and we'll be using the chest to, you know, we might be spamming that, we'll see. Oh, we will be. So anyway, team, we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It's always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you up there with more videos. And that team, take care. We'll see you all next time.